once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. And as I have said in my previous uh, video, that this is a very useful section for anybody, for anybody means uh, whoever wishes to learn about different lifestyle diseases and how to prevent them. So this is being included in the semester two syllabus at the Calcutta University. And for that, the students have to study this section and have to score marks in order to uh, have a good result. But this section is useful for any normal people. If they want to learn something uh, and also maintain a healthy lifestyle, they should go for this part, okay? So uh, let's discuss, uh, as I have already told you, that we'll be discussing few questions and I will be discussing them in uh, English. So if you find it difficult, just pause my video, read the question and translate that into Bengali for your uh, convenience and you can study. The questions are the same in Bengali or English uh, and you can uh, easily understand those because they are very simple, very um, friendly questions. So just I will be teaching you in English and I hope uh, if you have any kind of issues in understanding, please drop in your questions in the chat box or you can drop me in my WhatsApp group. You all have my WhatsApp number. Uh, there are 190 plus students in that uh, group. So you can just text me if you have any kind of issues. I just want you all to concentrate on this question section and I will be discussing and I'm not going to make this uh, too lengthy. Uh, just pause this video if you wish and you can study this section and jot it down. Okay, so this is an overview of some of the lifestyle diseases that we often encounter in our daily lives. And it can uh, be there in any, it can be infectious, it can be non-infectious, and it can be transmitted from uh, animals to humans or humans to humans, any, anything, any uh, of the species. So this is an overview. And from there, I have just uh, gathered some important questions from different sources for you all and I have jotted those questions in a section and I've placed here this for your convenience uh, so that it's easier for you all to study and learn this section. Okay, so let's move on to the questions. Uh, the first question, as you can see, is diseases that spread from one person to another are called. So over here, it is saying that the disease that is transmitted from one person to another is a communicable disease, okay? Similarly, the next question is, night blindness is caused due to the deficiency of which vitamin? Vitamin A, B, C, or E. So night blindness is caused due to the deficiency of vitamin A. So I have mentioned the answer over here. You can uh, opt, opt for this uh, part like this, what I'm saying in this manner or you can just jot down the question try it on your own and come back and see the answer okay so in this way you have a few more questions which are easy non-communicable diseases are uh, which of these like cancer diabetes hypertension all of the above these are non-communicable so it's not it does not spread okay from one person to another okay so what is Alzheimer's disease and osteoporosis? These are examples of degenerative diseases. So actually, Alzheimer is a degenerative. So moving on to the next part, we have excessive bleeding uh, during an injury. This is very uh, common thing because whenever a bleeding occurs in any person, vitamin K injection is very useful uh, to stop uh, the bleeding immediately okay so you have to uh, administer that person uh, with vitamin k under the supervision of a doctor and hopefully the excessive bleeding that is caused due to any kind of injury uh, is stopped then and there okay and these are few more questions actually these sections uh, um, almost if uh, students of biology section Sees, they will be knowing this part is in from uh, school life or college life uh, syllabus. So it's very easy sections. And in CBSC, ICSC board schools, these things are very common things. They study these sections in class 10 or 12. Okay. So 
for West Bengal board uh, students, this might be difficult. But for uh, ICC CBC students who have already studied uh, in these boards and have come to colleges, they'll find it familiar. Okay. And I'm just moving slowly this section so that it's easier for you all to uh, get handy of the questions uh, and also the answers. You can just pause my video and jot down the questions. Okay. So I hope it's uh, visible to all. So like this one, which is the, which of the following vitamin is known as ascorbic acid? You all know ascorbic acid is vitamin C. So out of this, vitamin C is the answer. So in this way, you have a few more questions. I'm just pausing the video. And for you all to study, if you have any kind of question, just drop in your questions. Okay. Um, this one is also very interesting. Which of the following vitamin helps in blood clotting? As I have already said, vitamin K. K. Uh, this is actually the same question uh, that is being reoriented. Okay. Uh, don't get confused. Just read the question properly before answering. Okay. So... This section, I think, is easier. Just pause the video and you take a screenshot or also you can uh, write down. I would prefer you all to write down the question and answers because while you are writing the question and the answers, it actually gets into your head and you understand better. So just try to write the question and answers, pause my video and write it down, okay? So you have here in this section around 20 questions, 20 easy and uh, important questions for your exam. Just convert these questions to Mingoli version on your own and study. And if you have any query, again, I'm saying feel free to ask me. Okay, I'm moving very slowly so that you can pause the video and write it down. This is very common, everybody knows this because azithromycin, penicillin, or amoxicillin, these are all examples of antibiotics. Whenever you go for the uh, any kind of, uh, say suppose you have any cold or flu, you go and you buy an amoxicillin, okay? So this is an antibiotic. So these things you should be knowing, these are few of the common things, daily life we encounter such things, okay? In the next section, I actually have divided this into two, three sections. And uh, as per my knowledge, I have divided like this section can be immunology sections. So more closer sections to uh, the biology branch. So I've just uh, shown this over here in a different format because uh, the students might feel a bit comfortable in the section-wise questions they have. I hope uh, you can follow it. Okay, let's discuss this. Which of the following cells is involved in cell-mediated immunity? So it's the T cells. And, okay, this is like, you, you have to know which what is hepatitis. Just go for that, Google it, and see what is hepatitis. And from there, you can have this answer. Like, hepatitis is an example of what kind of uh, uh, vaccine. It's a recombinant vaccine, okay? So these are very important questions and also very apt questions for anybody to know, be it a former student or a science students or an R students, everybody have to give this exam of CVAC at one point or the other. And uh, this is also very useful for any normal people to know because um, it gives you the common idea that is there. Okay, so this is my one section completed. I hope 
you have followed this section, just uh, I would say once again that start studying now. You have two to three days. Go for this section. I have three more videos. And in each video, I have given out like 20 to 30 questions so that it's easier for you all to prepare. Okay. Thank you all.